Hey everyone, um, sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, uh, not that probably anyone's noticed, <laughs> except maybe my grandma, um, she watches all these videos, and she's learning C++, and she's gonna be a software engineer someday, that's what she told me, no, I'm just kidding, but, um, anyway, that was a stupid joke, uh, it's, it's been finals week for me, and, uh, really haven't had the time. Um, but one thing I wanted to do a quick video over is something I've been seeing myself using this week uh, in my data structures class and that is what's called a pair. Um, not that maybe you'll ever use it but it might be good to see if you do uh, you know see it at some point and you, you're a little bit familiar with it. So a pair is just like a, a data structure that holds two different types of values and I think it'll be easier if I just show you. Um, so to use it you need to hash include utility and that's the only thing we need for this and then to make one a pair we can do just this we can do pair and then with these angle brackets two different types so I'm gonna do an int and a char. Um, you can do two, you can do a double and a double, you can have two of the same, you can have a string and an int, you know, whatever whatever have you. Um, just as long as there's two. Okay, hence pair. <laughs> pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Um, and we're just going to name it uh, pair -y. That's dumb. I'm just going to name it stuff. And there we go, we have declared our first pair. Now, how do we set values to it? Actually, when you declare it, you can set values to it, just like this, um, with the parentheses. And our first value is an int, so we have to put in an int. So I'll put 23, and then comma, and then this value is going to be the char value. So we're going to use the single quotations, and I'm just going to make it C, OK? So that makes this stuff pair, and it already initializes it with these two values, C and uh, 23. Now to access these, we do just this. We do the name, and it depends what one we want to look at. Do we want to look at the first, which is the integer, or the second value of the pair, which is the char? Um, maybe I should see out it so we can see. Uh, let's do the first stuff dot first and then we can do the second so simply we just do the name and then dot and then either first or second depending on you know what you wanna what you wanna see and there you go you can see that we have a pair um, name stuff uh, with the first value because it's dot first, 23, just like we said it, and the second value to C. Now, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and do, you know, stuff dot first. We can set equal to something else. Let's set it equal to 43. And then I'm just going to copy this statement here. And we can see how it changes. There you go. So it started off as 23, because that's how we initialized it. Um, and we read it out, as you can see. And then later, we changed it to 43. And then I read that out just to verify um, that it was changed. So yeah, uh, pretty cool. Um, the way I used it was actually uh, an adjacency list of, um, wow, that, that's probably too much. but. I had a pair and then another pair in the pair uh, of two other values. So it was it was kind of crazy. So it was like a um, pair of int and let's say another int just for the sake of things. So it'd be like stuff.first and then stuff.second.first, right? Because the second value is another pair. So you got to do stuff.second.first or stuff.second.second. It got pretty confusing um, but you, I got used to it I suppose yeah that's the way I used it um, of course you know there's probably a bunch of different ways you can use it you can make a uh, 
I know we didn't hash include it, so I'm not going to run it, but we can make a vector of pairs. Um, I think I've done this before, too. And each indice in the vector is a pair of values. So if you want to hold two values per indice, um, this is a good way to do it. Right? Ah, name it whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, that's always an option, too. Um, but anyway, I just thought it would be good to at least see it once, maybe. Um, because really, I haven't used it before. And they're kind of cool, I guess. Uh, you can show your friends, and they'll be mildly impressed. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.